The Duke and Duchess of Sussex planned to hire a traditional nanny after the birth of their first child, the Mail on Sunday can reveal. Inform sources dismissed speculation that Meghan will recruit Adula, a non-medical assistant who provides support during pregnancy in the early days of motherhood, or opt for a New Age-style birth. And they say reports that Meghan's mother Doria Ragland will move permanently to Britain from America to help bring up the child are also wide of the mark. Instead, the couple plan to be hands-on parents, and will bring in a nanny later this year ahead of a rumoured royal tour. The approach mirrors that adopted by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge for their children, George, 5, Charlotte, 3, and Louis, 10 months. They later appointed Maria Barallo, a graduate of the prestigious Norland College, when George was a few months old, although it is understood that Meghan may bring in a nanny when her child is younger than that. Last night Norland College declined to say if they had been approached by the couple. It is understood that Harry and Meghan have been listening to advice from friends including George Clooney's wife Amal, who had twins in June 2017, and fashion stylist Jessica Moroni, who has three children. While Meghan will take formal maternity leave and is unlikely to attend public engagements, she is determined to remain active behind the scenes working for her various causes. But a source said, this is her first baby and there will be a certain degree of playing it by ear. In January, Meghan became patron of the National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, the animal welfare charity Mayhew and Smart Works, which helps women get jobs. She will this week join a panel including singer Annie Lennox and former Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard to mark International Women's Day where they will discuss issues such as access to education and limitations in employment. Meanwhile, builders have been working feverishly to complete the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage and Home Park, Windsor. Harry and Meghan hope to move to the Grade 2 listed property from Kensington Palace within the next three weeks. The move may mean that Meghan chooses not to give birth at the Lindo Wing, the exclusive maternity ward at St. Mary's Hospital in central London where the Duchess of Cambridge had her three children, but instead use a hospital closer to home. One option would be Frimley Park Hospital in Berkshire, which is about 15 miles from Windsor and where the Countess of Wessex had her children.